So here we go on basically where we left off yesterday, and this is roughly the configuration of how everything was laying out in the video that I had. But you can kind of see that before this piece here was the former tip of the P38 shaft. This was the former tip of the Series 2A shaft. These two now are gone, and I'm left with my newly fabricated 28 and a half inch long um, hybrid steering shaft. So we've got the Series 2A that'll take the Series 2A steering wheel just fine up on this end. And then we come down here where you can see where we've done this uh, uh, sleeving that we've talked about here. Uh, and we may not have shoved it or sleeved it back up in there, but the fab shop was able to obviously get us the end result, which is a nice, straight, clean, perfect weld, 28 and a half inches long. Now, what this is going to do is the bearing will seat now perfectly where it's supposed to seat. This will basically be at about this position. My thrust washer and C-clip will sit perfectly in the screw. There was no additional fab needed. I would show the washer, but it's off the table right now, but I'm sure we'll find it here momentarily. So what this is ultimately going to end up like is that the proper setback without any additional machining will be basically like so. And what we're talking about doing then is that the chop is now going to happen here. This outer diameter and this this outer diameter and this inner diameter are something that we said, you know what, let's let's do a non-critical weld here on just the shaft. We'll adjust how we're going to do the uh, the mount to the, how it's going to attach to the bulkhead. And then, of course, this will come down to the position that it's supposed to be in. It all came together very, very nicely. And uh, like I say, 120 bucks. Uh, simple solution. I have not seen this anywhere else online uh, as to this process. Um, we'll get you some more specific information, but you can tell you don't need to know any more about the information on how long this is going to be. This is just stock because it's going to be basically exactly how this came from the factory, the P38 uh, end of their, their column and shaft. And then we'll make sure that the top end of this ends up where it's supposed to be to accommodate the steering wheel as needed. And that's just going to mean that we're going to take care of this overlap down here and uh, be chopping away. This section here will go away and this will now become the tail end of that. Anyway, so there we go. Okay, so here's a rough mock-up what we're talking about. This is this is just a mock-up. This this will be much further out, but I want to be able to show you down here what we're talking about. This is the end of the original Series 2A steering shaft, the original Series 2A steering column, original Series 2A. Well, that's getting dirty. <laughs> driver's uh, steering wheel, which is what our big goal is, what we want to try to keep. What I've done here is I've come down and I've cut the end off of the original. Series uh, 2A column end simply because, and as I mentioned in one of the earlier videos, and I noted that I, I, I kind of talk about one way we're going to bracket this. This is going away, so this is when we're going to start talking about the, the new direction we've gone in. And we can see here now what I'm talking about is that this can sleeve up into here really nice and give us pretty much the factory P38N, which is going to go to everything else that works out perfectly for the, for the P38 power steering. So you can tell, this is a little bit less critical weld here, and we're just going to have to come up with a new bracket for how this is going to attach to the um, bulkhead when all is said and done. So that's what we came up with, and I think an uh, interesting little discovery. So let's look at the fruits of our labor here. Um, we're still kind of in a midway phase here, but the benefit of everything now coming together, everything we've kind of talked about. You can see the, the cutout that we've done here to allow clearance. I'll probably take a little more off just to be safe. This is all just loose fit. We'll have to come up with a, a bracket of some kind. But you can see now what we were talking about in that this is truly just resting here. We're taking some last minute measurements before the frame is going to go over to powder coating today. But you can tell this is going to, the, the location of this will highly rest upon where the C-clip and that bearing has to be. But I've got plenty of play here, so I can make a cut on the series column, you know, probably in this location, so that I've got plenty of adjustable room. But um, as we do this, we'll just end up making this have a, a nice welding placement there. Uh, you can see as we've done this, uh, everything's fitting in really nicely there. The original bearing will work. Um, this is the original shaft and column, and everything's in the position that it's supposed to be in. 
So I want to add a side note that I think is really important when you do your, your attachment. Notice that this is all the way pulled out so that when I made the attachment to the column, uh, we were at our max. Everything was great. That tells me that if I ever have to take this off independent, I've got all this room right here to play with to slide it forward, and then any wiggle room I can get out of the out of the shaft. So, you know, if anything, just make sure you're not all the way the other way so to when you do this configuration, you haven't given yourself the ability to disassemble later. So just as a heads up, so everything you saw mocked up earlier, we had uh, max configuration. Oh, okay.